Out of the vault. Get out of the vault. We have, uh, I'm just going to play the videos back to back. We have the Feather Blue Fruit things that we're working on, the FFT thing we're working on, and then a web serial thing we're working on. So I'm going to play them and I'll see you on the other side in a moment. Okay, Lady, what is this? Hey, this is a waterfall spectrogram that we're showing off on a clue board. This is using the built in microphone and the new microlab. Uh, code library that we've added for CircuitPython. So you can do FFTs on the fly and you can actually see our voice spectrogram. And then if I grab this tootin flutin, you can see the notes show up on the spectrogram. Tootin flutin. So this is fun <laughs> with FFTs. Um, this is all kind of beta alpha, but we're excited to have a NumPy-like replacement for CircuitPython coming soon. Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? This is me testing out the new Feather NRF52840 sensor board with all these integrated sensors, motion, mic uh, microphone, magnetometer, uh, barometric pressure, humidity, etc. And uh, last week we did a bunch of guides on calibrating magnetometers. And the reason we did that is because I wanted to show how you could turn the built in Nindoff sensor into an orientation sensor. So here I'm using uh, Paul Stoffergen's orientation visualizer to show how when I move this board, the uh, data is sent over and then rendered just the same. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, this is a Circuit Playground Express and it's sending light and temperature data over the serial port and I'd like to plot it. And normally I'd use the Arduino ID plotter or the Moo plotter but now we're going to be using a web serial plotter that we wrote, and it's up on Glitch. It's still under uh, development, so it's kind of exciting. But we can connect if you're on Chrome, select the COM port or the serial port that matches. And now it's plotting data from the light and temperature sensor. It's also got the accelerometer sensor. We're going to work on that next. You can see there's a serial port output for debugging. Uh, in this case, it's in JSON format. And then this is the data itself plotting nicely over web serial. So no IDE, no downloads, just in the Chrome browser. Here's that cool um, LED plastic. Yeah, LED plastic that Phil was showing off. So I want to show this video. It looks really sharp. I, I think the best use of this is when you have to film LEDs because it just I makes know. <laughs> it easier to film. And uh, here is the clock that's being worked on. This is a coming soon and a project that we'll have out as well as a kit. And then uh, this is something that Lady Ada and I are working on. This is the classic egg drop project that kids have, but uh, you'll be able to drop your clue with a little parachute or whatever protection, the clue that you decide to armor the thing up with. And uh, too many Gs though, egg breaks. Oh no. So we'll have, uh, we'll have- It looks that. like it has a headache. Yeah, it's like I've got an egg egg. Egg egg. Um, and uh, this you're working on? Yep, I've got yet. some um, nine DOF sensors, both in Featherwing format and Stemma QT format, um, using the LSM 60 socks. This is a really, really nice accelerometer gyro pair um, with extremely low um, zero G rate um, for the gyro, which is really important if you want to do precision nine DOF orientation sensing. So I think this is going to be a very nice upgrade to the existing nine DOF sensors we stock. Back in the vault. Get back in there.